NASA, SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic. The space race is on yet again. Since Elon Musk's SpaceX landed their first Falcon 9 rocket in 2016, the world started looking up at the night sky once more. For decades, the general population lost interest in space, but now, curiosity about the infinitely deep and dark unknown is ignited once more. Ten years ago, the idea of living on Mars was confined to science fiction books and Hollywood movies. Now, it is a reality and only a matter of time before the first human steps out onto the red planet. Heading out into space, traversing the moon or setting foot in mass is an incredible feat of human genius that we sometimes take for granted. The reason is because space is a death trap and we're not welcome there. From boiling blood to bodies getting spaghettified, space contains very unique recipes for murdering humans. Welcome to Mystify and today we explore 10 terrifying facts about space travel. Before we continue this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and smash that bell button so you'll be the first to know when we publish our next brain-boosting video. Number 10. Gravity We have all seen movies or footage of the International Space Station where astronauts float carelessly around. This is probably the number one reason why the average citizen will want to experience space travel to experience zero gravity. But what many people do not realize is that zero gravity is actually awful for the human body. NASA discovered that when we are not constantly fighting gravity, our bone mineral density decreases by 1.5% per month. Zero gravity or microgravity also affects most muscles and weakens them over time, including the heart. The Russians proved that with proper exercise, astronauts can survive at least a year in zero gravity. But how much longer than that before it has a permanent scarring effect on human bodies? We do not know yet. Number 9. Vacuum Floating around inside the spaceship is one thing, but trying to float outside is another. Going outside the spacecraft without a spacesuit will not end well for you. Space is a vacuum which means that there is no atmosphere. So what would happen if you went outside without wearing a spacesuit? Apart from the obvious suffocating due to lack of pressure on your body of an atmosphere, the liquids in your body start to boil. Your muscles swell and constrict blood flow and you lose control of your bladder and bowel. Then it all goes dark. Number 8. Temperatures if you decide to go outside without wearing your spacesuit, the first thing you will notice due to lack of atmosphere is that space is not cozy. For instance, if you step outside on the sunny side of the International Space Station, the temperature can reach 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 121 degrees Celsius. If you choose to rather stay in the shade, Prepare for minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 157 degrees Celsius. So, maybe keep that suit on if you want to float in space. But even with your suit, you're still not safe. Number 7. Meteorites Now, you're convinced that going outside without a spacesuit is a stupid idea. But even inside a spacesuit, you're not guaranteed to survive in the harsh environment of space. Space is filled with bullets trying to kill you. Asteroids can be miles wide like the ones that killed the dinosaurs or they can be the size of a grain of sand. The bigger they are, the easier they are to evade. But the problem for astronaut lies with the small rocky fragments. The typical asteroid hits the Earth's atmosphere at a speed of 10 to 20 miles per second or 16 to 32 kilometers per second. On average, that equates to 54,000 miles per hour or 84,000 kilometers per hour, which is about 30 times faster than a bullet. A tiny rock traveling at that speed will go through an astronaut like molten lead through butter. Number 6. Radiation 
Cosmic radiation is not kind to the human body. Cosmic radiation can be found anywhere in space, but within range of the Earth's magnetic field, it is even worse. This is known as the Van Allen radiation belt. Energetically charged particles, most of which originate from the solar wind, are captured by and held around the planets by that planet's magnetosphere. This reminds me, if you're curious to see what would happen if we detonated the nuclear bomb in the Van Allen belt, make sure to watch our video about exactly that. And oh yes, spoiler alert, this actually happened before. Anyway, back to radiation in space. Spacecraft offer quite sufficient protection against radiation, but spacesuits, not so much. That is why astronauts only go out when the solar winds from the sun are not that harsh. Number 5. Solar Flares Solar flares are scary things. A flare strong enough could destroy life on Earth as we know it. Solar flares are born from eruptions of electromagnetic radiation on the sun. The sun has a solar cycle, during which solar flares get worse. We are in fact approaching the solar maximum now, with the next peak expected to be around July 2025. On Earth, the magnetic field provides adequate protection from solar flares, and all that we experience down here are the beautiful northern lights. If you are in space, it's a different story. Depending on the size and time of exposure to the flare, Astronauts could die from radiation poisoning or develop cancer afterwards. Number 4. Time Traveling Yes, you heard right. Thanks to Einstein and his clever friends, we now know that the speed at which you travel influences time. That is why the clocks on the space station are adapted to include the difference caused by the speed they travel. If you spend six months on the International Space Station, traveling at a speed of about 17,000 miles per hour or 27,000 kilometers per hour, you would age 0.005 seconds less than those living on Earth. The 2014 hit movie, Interstellar, showed how this could dramatically influence the lives of astronauts. Number 3. Psychosis the effects of space on astronauts go beyond the physical. It poses psychological threats, which many people back on Earth never even consider. We're mostly fixated on floating around, enjoying the beautiful view of our blue planet and gazing upon the billions of stars. Astronauts go through vigorous psychometric testing and evaluation before they are even considered fit for spaceflight. They are also mentally prepared and trained for the attacks they would endure from their own mind. Being under the constant threat of instant death without the means of returning to Earth quickly and trapped in small compartments with other people for long periods of time contributes to immense psychological pressure that could cause the average human to crack. Number 2. Pulsars The last two on our list would perhaps not affect astronauts in our generation. These threats would only become relevant as we travel beyond our own solar system. Pulsars are one of those landmines that we'll need to watch out for. Sometimes, when a star collapses, they become a neutron star or pulsar. Imagine the size of our sun shrinking down to the size of Manhattan but remaining just as heavy as before. Their gravitational properties are insane. If you stood on a meter-high platform on a pulsar and jumped, you would reach a speed of 7.2 million kilometers per hour before hitting the ground. In that split microsecond, due to its incredible gravity, your matter would be spaghettified. Due to their gravitational pull, they can attract spacecraft from millions of miles away. Number 1. Black Holes In April 2019, the first ever photograph was taken of a black hole. Black holes are basically remnants of stars but unlike pulsars, they are not easy to detect. Their gravitational force is so strong that not even light can escape them. The only time we can observe them visually is when they feed on other stars or clouds that stray too close. Once past the event horizon, nothing can escape. The center is called the singularity, puncturing space-time, and it defies the normal laws of physics. 
What exactly happens in there and what laws apply is still unclear to us today. So, the first danger is that black holes can suck in spaceships from millions of miles away. Also, due to their effects on space-time, you might be able to escape if you didn't pass the point of no return. But when you return to Earth, you will find that thousands of years could have passed due to the black hole's adverse effect on your space-time when you wandered too close to it. So, now that you've learned that space is no place to have a picnic, would you be interested in going to Mars if it entails six months of space travel? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this video. We hope to see you next time here on Mystify.